The rotten egg gas, hydrogen sulfide, is one of the main malodorous compounds in human flatus. In other words, one of the main reasons farts can smell so bad. But the larger concern is it may be responsible for relapses of ulcerative colitis. Previously, I talked about the role animal protein may play in the development of inflammatory bowel disease, thought to be because of the putrefying animal protein gas. But what if you already have ulcerative colitis? Can cutting down on sulfur-containing amino acids help? Before this study was published, the only thing shown really to help was the withdrawal of milk. Case reports going back decades describe patients with ulcerative colitis whose flares appeared to be triggered by cow's milk. And the elimination of all dairy products in the diet was reported to frequently result in dramatic improvements in symptoms. But when milk was reintroduced back into their diets, it could trigger an attack. It wasn't formally studied, though, until 1965. Uh, was it just a small group of patients who were maybe allergic or something, or could a milk-free diet help with the disease in general? So they randomized patients presenting with an attack of ulcerative colitis into a milk-free diet, or a controlled placebo dummy diet, where they told people just not to eat a bunch of random things to make it seem like they were getting special treatment. The milk-free diet worked better. Twice as many were symptom-free off of all dairy and fewer patients suffered relapses. So uh, there seems to be a certain proportion of ulcerative colitis patients that would benefit from eliminating all dairy. They estimate that milk is a trigger in about one in every five, so certainly sufferers should try a dairy-free diet trial to see if they're one of the lucky ones that can be controlled with such a simple dietary intervention. OK, but what about cutting back on sulfur-containing amino acids in general? Uh, this study of four ulcerative colitis sufferers found that their daily bouts of bloody diarrhea significantly lessened. So reduced intake of sulfur-containing amino acids, uh, or sulfur-containing amino acid-rich foods, uh, produced an improvement in moderately severe ulcerative colitis. Uh, what happened when they added these foods back? The researchers felt that the effect was so dramatic the challenging back with foods like meat, dairy, eggs, and sulfided wine was considered unethical. Uh, this is just a pilot study, though. Researchers then set up a study in which 191 ulcerative colitis patients in remission were followed for a year along with their diets to determine which foods were associated with a relapse. They turned out to be meat and alcohol. This makes sense because they're both can be rich sources of sulfur, which may increase the concentration of hydrogen sulfide, which, if you remember, is toxic because it interferes with our body's utilization of fiber, uh, which are good bacteria turn into this beneficial compound called butyrate. So how can we increase fecal butyrate levels to counteract any hydrogen sulfide? Well, butyrate enemas have been shown to be a benefit, but if it's formed from fiber, can we just get it coming in the regular way? Yes. Ulcerative colitis sufferers were given oat bran for three months, uh, making their good bacteria happy. None of them relapsed, and their symptoms appeared to be under better control. One of the common questions we physicians treating patients with IBD, inflammatory bowel disease are often asked is whether changing diet could positively, uh, positively affect the course of their disease. So far, our answer, especially for ulcerative colitis, has been we don't know, no special recommendations. This may now change, though, with this study that suggests that the consumption of meat may aggravate the course of inflammatory bowel disease. So folks may want to cut down on meat, uh, meaning like uh, no more than once a week. Uh, we don't have confirmation from interventional studies to support the, the specifics, but uh, that could be considered like the best available evidence we have right now.